We're just about to leave here from Santo Domingo, the capital of the Dominican Republic. And we're gonna be heading up north to a place called Samana, a province. And we're gonna be staying in like a sleepy little beach town called Las Galeras, which looks incredible. And we're gonna be going by bus. So we're just about to get an Uber to the bus station. And I thought I'd show her how it is uh, traveling by bus here in the Dominican Republic, cause we have no idea it's gonna be our first time getting on a bus. Samana? Ah, lá de galera. Sim. Aqui? Graças. Vai lá. at the bus stop just in time at 11.55 and the bus left at 12 and we have no idea how much it costs but I'll write it down they haven't charged us yet I guess they'll charge us when we get off and I'll just show you the bus quickly so we're sitting at the, the back here not much space at all look at this for leg room <laughs> quite thin as well right yeah not like the Mexico buses no not, not bad but the Mexican ones were better yeah, I don't think there's a bathroom either. No. A yeah, pretty lively bus, all the locals. We're the only tourists here. People playing music. <laughs> and I think it's gonna take like three hours, was it? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like three hours. So, yeah, hopefully it'll be a smooth ride. Quite a lot of traffic in Santo Domingo so far. continue I'd like to talk quickly about the sponsor of this video so Surfshark are a VPN provider that allows us to keep a private connection anywhere in the world keeping our data and information safe from potential hackers it also allows us to bypass censorship in some countries some websites or content are blocked so by using Surfshark we're able to unblock them Another big benefit to us is that it gives us access to all 15 of Netflix's libraries. For example, Carol really likes to watch the series Friends over and over, and Netflix recently removed it from a lot of the countries, but it's still available in the UK. So by connecting her laptop to the UK server on Surfshark, she's able to access all the Friends series still. Other than that, Surfshark also allows unlimited devices, so you can connect all your family's devices just using one account. In the description of the video, we have a link with the code Jumping Places that will give you 83% off and three months for free. They also have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you decide you don't want to continue to use it, you haven't spent any money. So we finally made it here to Las Galeras. It took way longer than we expected. I think, what, like four and a half hours? Yeah, around that. Yeah, but it was okay. It was like a very smooth ride. Road's pretty much empty as well. Absolutely beautiful, like super green. 
just jungle everywhere and um, some like plantations and stuff so yeah it was amazing this place looks nice and green as well i think everywhere is pretty much like that here outside of uh, santo domingo and we're just looking for the place that carol booked which is supposed to be an amazing place right yeah uh -huh. like the jungle house jungle house awesome loads of little nice houses here though when we was driving like this one little colorful houses everywhere all surrounded by the awesome plants trees Hola. Hola. Gracias. Yo soy Damián. Ok. Yo soy Chris. Chris. Y Carolina, sí. sí yo soy <laughs> Okay. So we'll take you on a tour of the the jungle house here. So it's two floors, the main studio is at the bottom and then I think there's a balcony that we'll show you. But this is like the garden area. Yeah, I love the garden. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look at the size of these giant plants. Got some fruit trees as well. That's a mango tree over there full of mangoes. Yeah, loads of mangoes. Yeah. Look at the size of this one as well. Yeah, so we have this uh, outside area we can eat and chill out here. Doesn't seem to be any mosquitoes, so that's good. Mm, yeah, but uh, there is a, how do you call that a thing, net. a net, yeah. just in case. Yeah, I haven't seen any mosquitoes so far. And then here's the little kitchen. Looks quite nice with the, the wooden thing. And then I think through here is the little fridge. Yeah, so we've got a fridge here. I think these are to put on the, the chairs outside, more comfort. And then it's just one big area. So it's kind of funny, we had this exact thing in our house in Houston. So I know this is from Ikea. <laughs> we had the exact same chair. And then there's two beds, so we've got a little double bed here. And then the single one. And the cool thing for me is that I can edit here, they have an awesome working chair and a desk and it showed on airbnb that it's like four digital nomads yeah because apparently they have good internet like fiber optic internet and yeah that's a place for digital nomads looking for a nice uh, place in the like uh, jungle but with good internet as well yeah and how much was this place uh, 41 because we are booking for a week but I think if you book for less uh, days, it's a bit a, a bit more expensive. But for us, forty one for a week. Forty one dollars. And then through here is the bathroom. Yeah, pretty nice bathroom as well. And I'll just show you upstairs quickly. So it's just one big, huge open space. It's not really a room or anything. But yeah, it's a good place to work out. Yeah, the guy was talking about this, that so we can do yoga. They have yoga mats. Got a nice hammock here. And then some pretty awesome views here at the top. So I think there's some other little houses that you can stay in. It's not just this one property. Got some down here as well, a smaller one. So yeah, it's a few different accommodations. It does look beautiful out here though. We're going to check out our first Caribbean style beach here in the Dominican Republic now and we're going to be heading to a small one called La Playita which I think is about a 12 minute walk from where we're staying.
Yeah, this is what I call a Caribbean beach. Yeah, it's beautiful. I like the shades of blue. Wow, this is awesome. Oh, beautiful views as well of the land over there. <laughs> Everywhere is a party here. Yeah, it's not a quiet place. No, it doesn't seem to be. Caribbean water temperature though. Yeah. It's warm but it's just still refreshing. Yeah, it's amazing. So a lot of people do boat tours around here, so I think this boat's picking up a group of foreigners from over there that come from other regions. Yeah, we didn't get lucky. It's been like sunny for a few hours since we arrived, but yeah, the clouds just came over now, so I think it's gonna be like that for the rest of our stay here. But over there, look, nice and blue. But the problem is the clouds are coming from that way and I can't see an end in sight. So I'm gonna tell you another big reason why we decided to come to Samana. So you can see these rocks here, they're limestone rocks, just like you get in Southeast Asia and like the Philippines, El Nido, which we love. So when we were looking online for places to visit in the Dominican Republic, we saw these pictures of a beach with like huge limestone cliffs around in it, just like in El Nido in Th Thailand. And yeah, we found out that it was here in Samana. And it's a beach just over there down the coast, which might be the next video. It's gonna be one of the next ones we're definitely gonna visit there. But yeah, we were just surprised to see that. We didn't realize that this area had places that looked like Southeast Asia. So yeah, really looking forward to that. And that's why we chose this place. I gotta mention we're here in like July which I think is pretty much like the peak heat maybe in the summer so it's so humid it's actually kind of good that it's kind of cloudy because it's less hot but yes yeah, super humid a lot hotter than Mexico right yeah it is and I think uh, in Baja California Sur the last place that we went it was dry and here like you said it's humid so it's a different kind of hot yeah, humid. I don't know, it feels like you're melting or something. Yeah, it's different. I don't know, I get more tired, I think, when it's humid. Sun's come out of it, so not so bad. heading out now it was just a quick stop at the beach mainly just to see what the beaches are um, like around here a sneak peek and 
yeah we like what we've seen so far and now we're gonna head into town and do some shopping we we need some shopping so that we can cook and stuff so yeah i'll probably show you that as well because i never really show any supermarket or prices or anything really nice villas check this out right on the ocean front yeah all the accommodations look great right yeah like this one too mm -hmm. those are beautiful little houses hotels here Los Gorgones Abierto? Si? So we come to this spot called El Pescador. Seems to have like fish and pizza, paella as well. Right on the main road, so it's quite noisy. Got a party going on down here as well somewhere. <laughs> it is a Saturday, so I guess weekend's party time. And then I'm not gonna get a pizza, but they have them going for as cheap as 400 up till 800 the most expensive. I think I want to go for what I ate the last time, which is the coconut fish, and that's 7.20, so yeah, more expensive than in Santo Domingo, the place that we ate. What are you going to eat? Pizza. Pizza? Which one? Margarita. Oh, the cheapest, 400. Yeah. Yeah. So my fish tastes great once again. I already can tell this is going to be one of my favorites, really delicious. Carol's pizza is pretty huge. You're not going to be able to eat all that, right? No. no. That's dinner. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it the rest of home. How, how is it though? It's good, not the best pizza I've ever had, but it's okay, not the worst. Though. Yeah. Looks a bit dry. Yeah, I wish it had more cheese. No cheese. <laughs> So we've just come into a mini supermarket here, gonna do some shopping. What do you got there? Some yogurt drinks yeah, for, for, breakfast. for breakfast. Get some milk for smoothies. Should we get some beans? I think so. Oh, they don't call them frijoles here. Habichuelas. <laughs> That's different. Get some lentils as well. Don Rodrigo lentils. Quality. So I think normally the fruit and vegetables would be here, but yeah, they don't have anything at all. Just some onions over there, so yeah, I think we'll have to find a fruit and veggie place somewhere else. So we found a little fruit shack here, fruits for sale. So we're just gonna get some bananas. Carol's gonna get some eggs as well. Funny story, we ate at that restaurant and the place that I thought was a party is just a uh, hairdresser's. <laughs> party hairdresser's. I don't think ha hairdresser wasn't one of our guesses. No, we thought it was a bar or something, but no. Yeah, just people getting a haircut. So we went to a few stores because we wanted to get some vegetables like broccolis and stuff. But yeah, it seems like everyone's run out. So we're thinking because it's uh, quite late maybe people have already bought it bought it up uh, so tomorrow i guess we'll go earlier and hopefully we can get some good vegetables
So we ended up getting much less than we expected because they didn't have much variety in the stores that we went to. But we got these four uh, yogurt drinks, the beans, a can of tuna, lentils, Carol got a Gatorade, some tomato sauce, milk, one garlic, and some oatmeal. And that was 708 Dominican pesos. So yeah, I'm not sure if that's a good price or not. And then from the fruit place, I just got six eggs for Carol and seven bananas for me. And that was 95 overall. But these are all soft already, so yeah, I think I'm gonna make a banana smoothie. Got a blender here, that's good. Not bad. <laughs> I ended up putting like uh, four bananas in it because they were kind of already going bad. So yeah, I had to use them up straight away. So yeah, pretty strong banana taste. And we're gonna be here in Samana for a week. So seven days, we might even extend it depends because uh, there is gonna be some bad weather and we want, want to go out and explore at least like four to five times. So yeah, it all depends on the weather, but there's some awesome stuff here, awesome beaches, waterfalls, things like that. So. Yeah, there is a, a lot to do that's why we booked an entire week so stay tuned for the next videos because i think they're gonna be really awesome some amazing places and if you like this video just drop a like to support us subscribe if you like to see more videos like this follow us on instagram and we'll see you in the next one